Good to see you, disciple. I am Morgana, the Archmage of Fogler. Oh, everybody makes a bit of a fuss when a soon-to-be slayer arrives. We all have our fields of study and a good life to lead, but the village can get a tad dull now and again. But let's turn to the reason you are here, the ritual that will make you a true dragon slayer. To be a slayer is to hate the dragon, but also to understand it. No other order in Revelon takes the old military adage, know your enemy, quite so seriously as the Academy does. To attain this goal, I will infuse you with the memories of dragons. It will make you understand their language, motives, powers, and weaknesses. It will also color your eyes silver, the noted characteristic of the Slayer, which will enable you to see the spirits of the dead. The ritual has a side effect, but nothing can be done about that. The real drawback is this. The spell was not originally designed for the brain of a human, so to make place for it, you will lose your active knowledge of your years as a slayer. It's unpleasant, I realize that. But a slayer needs those dragon memories in order to operate. The only comfort is that your powers still persist on a subconscious level, so you'll regain your skills rather quickly. Becoming a dragon slayer is a harsh occurrence, but you will become one of Rivalan's greatest heroes. No, no, they haven't. Your training has made you a force to be reckoned with, and has shaped a mind that rivals the wise teachers of old. Lesser people will be driven mad by the dragon memories. Only one as arduously trained as yourself can absorb them. Take comfort in the fact that slayers like Rode and Marius have faced the same ordeal and went on to become mighty warriors. Then prepare to become a dragon slayer. And that's that. You might experience some dizziness for a while. Some disorientation, perhaps. The journey starts again, my friend. Your path is an empty page ready to be filled with tales of wonder, of adventure. But before you trot out of here in search of dragons and distinction, make sure you meet the veterans here. Alberic, Aravir, and Gawain know more about their trade than anyone you are likely to meet. And don't forget Isabel. The gift she will share with you, aside from the dragon memories, is the most prominent one you'll receive in Fogler. Quite so. You could call it a perk that comes with the power of the memories. Everyone can see the living dead, of course, those poor souls that have fallen prey to necromancers. But to see the ghosts of those long dead is a precious ability, and will prove useful more frequently than you may think. The memories not only give you more insight and knowledge than a man could absorb in a century of unbroken study, they also protect you from mind attacks the dragons perform. Without that, you'd be a puppet doing their bidding. But now, you have equal mental strength, so dominance in combat can be achieved. Divine blessing, Slayer. The last ingredient needed to achieve the effect of luminosity still eludes me. What's the matter with you? You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> ah, yes. There's that famous wit of his. Slayer, meet Toro. So formal, yet relaxed. Most are chilled to the bone the first time they see a phantom. 
Most ghosts you'll meet are there because of unfinished business. The strength of their will not to move on until that business is settled is what binds them to the material world. In my case, it was my passion for alchemy. I will not find tranquility until I have fathomed all its innermost enigmas. Could take a while still. Why, the Hall of Echoes, of course. Don't tell me you've never heard of it. It's a transitional place between our world and the next. Rumor has it your memories are eaten away so that you can enter the afterlife unburdened by the sorrows of this life. An unnecessary precaution, if you ask me. I have mostly fond memories of my time in Rivalon. You know where to find me. The last ingredient needed to achieve the effect of luminosity still eludes me. Don't mind me, Slayer. I just take care of the piggies here. Something like that. Me and my husband... Oh, I'm the one doing the actual herding. He's more the town's cook. I like it that way because I enjoy the outdoors. And Tom, he just likes to stick close to the cask of ale in the kitchen. Bye, Slayer. <laughs> haven't seen you around here before. Enjoy your time in Farglow. I see you have met Morgana. That means we can proceed. Do me a favor and think of something, anything, but don't speak aloud. I'm flattered. But I'm afraid this is neither the time nor the place for frivolities and frolicking. Surprised? Surely you have heard of the gift of mind reading that dragon slayers possess. Maybe you have also wondered how they come by such an amazing ability. The answer is easy. I bequeath it to them. Of course, it is one of the reasons you are here. Now stand still, and look into my eyes. There you go. The secrets of all shall be revealed to you. Be aware, though. Strong minds are difficult to read and come at a cost. So you will have to work on your skills if you want to perfect this art. It was a skill given to dragons only until a scroll was discovered that bore the spell. A slayer found it among the ruins of a dragon knight's citadel tower, and we have used it ever since. Fare thee well, slayer. Your eyes shine brighter than they did before you came to Farglow, Slayer. Gawain's the name. Old Paladin of the Divine Order. My life has always been that of the Blade. It is an art I will teach you, should you want me to. It is an order of Paladins, founded by the Divine after his ascension to Demigod. We have fought the Black Ring in all its forms ever since until the Great War and the Divine's death at the hand of a Dragon Knight. Just thinking about it still makes my blood boil. You Slayers do commendable work. Exterminating the Betrayers is a just cause indeed. Only one more of the beasts to go I have been given to understand. Excellent! I'll give you the warrior powers and a sword. Find Sonya. She provides the live targets around here.
Sonia tells me you'll be swinging blades and axes like the ritual never happened in no time. May the divine watch over. Someone has a new shine in the eyes. And a frown on the face. <laughs> With good reason. It took me years to look at you. Not a scar on your rosy skin. You're a newborn if ever I saw one. Well spoken. Not everyone has that attitude so soon after the memory ritual. The best thing to do is to get back in the saddle as quickly as possible. Just say the word and I'll give you something to fight. Very well. I'll summon you some goblins to carve up. Someone has a new shine in the eyes. And a frown on the face. <laughs> With good reason. It took me years to cast a piece of fire there again. Sonia tells me you'll be swinging blades and axes like the ritual never happened in no time. It is the noblest path a slayer can follow, and the most satisfying one. Each enemy is killed up close and personal. You can feel and taste the blood that comes with each victim. Study the skills that come with the territory, and you and your weapon of choice will become an unstoppable harbinger of death. May the divine watch over you. Yes, Slayer. Fare thee well, Slayer. What? Oh, the newborn. Uh, yes, I'm Alberic the Wizard. So, magic, you know, I recommend it and so. I don't have all day. My experiments, they keep me very busy. But fine, go ahead. I'll indulge you for a minute. If you like, just try not to burn down our enclave, would you? 
Sonia is near the arena entrance. She'll tell you the rest. Wow, this is good to know. Interested in archery? I'll tell you all about it if you like. Good for you. I'll cast the ranger spell and give you a bow. When you're ready, Sonia will open the arena for you. Ah, this is good to know. Back for more, are you? Here are some goblins to pierce. I see you've been talking to Aravir. He's a good man, but remember, a bow only gets you Excellent! Shot. I'll give you Find a... Sonia. Ah, this is good to know. You look more than ready to head back to the Academy Slayer. But remember, you may only have one of the veteran's spells on you when you leave. So choose wisely before you depart. Finally, you're here. I apologize, but I'll have to extend my congratulations later. Moments ago, we received word. A dragon was spotted in Broken Valley. While this surely is exciting news, the timing is less than perfect. You were supposed to do a ritual that would channel the dragon memories, which is extremely important for your health and that of your surroundings. If we postpone it for too long, you will go dragon wild and the ones that survive that terrible affliction spend the rest of their lives in deep dungeons, eating their own tongues and clawing out their eyes. Horrible though that prospect may be, the dragon takes precedence, so I hope we'll be able to improvise along the way. I see you're equipped with a sword. You're sure you want to face our foe as a warrior? The destiny of the dragon slayers shall come to its conclusion at last. Quickly now, all aboard!
Right. Time to start the hunt. Marius, you will lead the preliminary search of the valley, but warn me before engaging the dragon. I will notify the local officials of our arrival. Once you have any information, come and find me and we'll head out. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Good. This will be a day to remember, Slayers. Now, hop to it. Not so fast, my eager newborn. Your mental state is still highly volatile, so I'm keeping you on a tighter leash. Don't worry, I have an assignment for you as well. Enter the town and ask the villagers about the dragon. Some are bound to have seen it. I'll most probably be in the barracks. The local captains and whatnots always want to talk to slayers. Makes them think they're grander than the peasant sitters they are. <laughs> Shiny. Up here! I'm trapped up here! Haunted by goblins! They took my grappling hook. Please get it back! Marvellous! Let him have it, Slayer! Not yet! Finally, I'll be able to get off this... The grappling hook. Please, throw it up to me. Got it. I'll be down in a minute. Thank you, Slayer. Those goblins would have gotten to me eventually. Normally I can handle them, but this time they were different. You always scout the woods in teams of two. But we were ambushed by an unusually fierce and organized pack. Didn't make it. He panicked and ran off, leaving me to face them bloodthirsty creeps by myself. I managed to get up the tower, but I lost the grappling hook in the process. That was several hours ago. The coward obviously didn't even warn the other guards. You can say that again, or I'll give you the pleasure of confronting him. His name's Peavy. You can find him in the barracks watch platform. I'll inform Captain Rodman. We'll have the little pest in shackles in no time.
another one to add to the collection. Oh, I can't! the morning to your sleep. <laughs> Fair enough when rain will fall and them goblins keep to themselves. Mind you, that new order seems a wee bit of a pain in the old backside. Some of them have taken over one of my barns, but I reckon they'll be gone soon enough. Right, be safe now. <laughs> Why must we always get stuck doing guard duty? Yeah, and to think Merrill and his pals are having the Shiny. time of their lives in the Black Boar right now. Just quit your grumbling, would you? We're new order, not guard recruits. Well, excuse us. Oh, hello, Slayer. Here. Do you mind doing me a little favour? Wonderful. Please bring this letter to Derek, the blacksmith in the village. Don't tell my husband. It's a uh, private, you know. Good day, Dragon Slayer. Welcome to Broken Valley. I greet you, Slayer. Indeed, I have. When I was on patrol with Lieutenant Lewis. We saw it high up in the vicinity of the locked temple. The New Order, Rivertown's finest. Our order was established after the Great War in honor of the Fallen Divine. Members are called Seekers because we spend our lives in personal search, searching and attempting to embody the ideal that is the Divine. But that does not mean that we are merely some sort of ecclesiastical order. We are warriors, above all, who serve and protect Rivalon. By all means, 